In this lecture we're going to cover selecting and deselecting. Selecting and deselecting objects is fundamental to using Vectorworks. If you can't select an object, it's impossible to delete it, or copy it, or mirror it, or do anything to it. So it's really important that we cover this. We'll use our selection tool. That's this one here, the upward pointing arrow on our basic tool set. If you move near an object, your cursor will change shape and you can click on that object and that object is called Selected. I'm just going to remove the resource manager so it's not in the way. You can see in this case I get blue handles around it. If I select the next object, the first one is now no longer selected or deselected. Click on the next one and so on. If you want to select more than one object, you can hold your shift key down and select further objects. In this case, you might notice here I've got three rectangles selected. So the object info palette's helpful here because it's going to tell you how many objects you have selected. In this case, three rectangles. If you click away from everything, then everything becomes deselected. If I drag my marquee over objects, you'll notice as they get totally enclosed by my marquee, they become highlighted in orange. Pre-selected, they're called. If I let go of my mouse, you'll see that I've got two objects with a very strong orange outline and one object with a rather pale orange outline. Now, it might be tempting to think that I've got three objects selected, but if you look at the object info palette, there's only two. Now, if I move my mouse away from that last rectangle, you'll see I really only have two objects selected. I'd like to do that same selection again. This time, as I drag my cursor across the objects, I'm going to hold down my Alt or my Option key. And you'll notice that every object I touch becomes selected. If I select an object, and then I drag my marquee over everything with the Shift key down, any object previously selected will become deselected. Notice how this middle rectangle is no longer selected. If you want to delete an object, you click on it, hit the delete or the backspace key. If you make a mistake, go up to edit on the menu bar and choose undo. And it has got a keyboard shortcut which I use quite often. If you've undone something that you really wanted to redo again, back to edit and then redo. And it'll redo the last action. So you can undo and you can redo.